19 NFL scouts and a total of six Falcons competed at Air Force's Pro Day, but only two really stood out. Jim Thorpe winner Trey Taylor and Bo Richter. My ceiling is a lot higher than people think. There's a lot of room for me to grow. I knew, you know, I had goals for times and, and jumps and leaps, and so I made a lot of those goals happen. Richter's film doesn't lie with 10 and a half sacks last season, but neither did his pro day numbers. Before tweaking his hammy, Bo had ranked first amongst linebackers who competed at the NFL Combine in a vertical jump and also the bench press. Pull my hamstring on the on the first 40. Would, would have loved to not do that and to have a have a second go at the 40 and then uh, be able to compete in the position drills and the and the shuttle and both shuttles. But you know, I feel like I did what I could with the with the reps that I had and hopefully turn some heads and and uh, st stock going up. And as for Trey Taylor, he believes he proved the doubters wrong and that left him out of the NFL Combine. Uh, they had a lot of question marks about me. I think I answered to a lot of those question marks and hopefully surpassed the expectation. And so hopefully they can bring that back to the GMs and be even more confident in my play. To not get like a combine invite, you know, that, that, that fueled me big time. So that just helped me put in even more work than I was putting in and I'm um, happy with the with the results. Trey hopes to become the first Air Force defensive back ever selected in the NFL draft. And both Trey and Bo hope their names are on this board come next fall. At the Air Force Academy, I'm Corey Rolding, KKTV 11 Sports.